friends, okay, it is Big Mama again. Um, it is Sunday, September the 11th. How many have noticed that they don't do September 11th like they used to? I mean, used to they have memorials and, you know, remembrances and, you know, things on TV like that. And you haven't really heard anything. I don't know if it's because Queen Elizabeth died or what, but... People don't acknowledge 9-11 like they did. And they should. They should acknowledge it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So pray for those that lost someone in 9-11 in or the ones that are still suffering from the effects. Um, yeah. Pray for all those families. So, today finds us on this Sunday morning. I've already cleaned up my kitchen somewhat. My sink was slap full, overflowing onto the counter of dishes. So, yes, Debbie, honey, I am ready. I am ready, ready. We're going to be doing um, candy beans or, or pinto beans. Pinto beans and sausage. And then, um, I don't know if I could do my rice in at the same time or not. I want to say, I want to say I saw a recipe. Who do that real quick fast? Say I saw. Um, <laughs> um, where you could do them all three together. Your rice, beans, and your sausage. So, I might try to look that one back up. Anywho, um, got that part over there cleaned up. I had to hang up with gloves. I wouldn't hang them and let them dry. <clears throat> we are still loving the refrigerator. We have not given her a name yet. Her, him, whatever. Our other one was an LG and we named it Louie. Usually we'll name it like my Jeep is Josephine. I don't know how my black Dodge Caravan became Bessie. But she was Bessie. I mean, that name fit her to a T. So, I don't know. His name is Crossley. I guess we can just call him Crossley. Wasn't there a, so a funny soap or something? It might have been the soap. Do y'all remember the TV show Soap with um, Benson in it? I don't know who really played Benson, but anywho, you get the gift. Here we are. Crossley. <laughs> I've got him all cleaned up. I found the best thing so far for like the water stains. Um, it said vinegar, you know, just straight vinegar. But I, I always had this on hand, the Great Value Multi Surface Vinegar Cleaner, and I'm sure it's just vinegar and water. I'm probably gonna make my own up once I get done with this bottle. I used to have a bottle, uh, just a plain spray bottle. I got from the Dollar Tree. You could get like three for a dollar. I had Baby Loso in one, I think I still do, um, Pine Sol in one, and then Vinegar Water in one. I might have turned one into a bleach bottle, I don't remember. But I discovered if you have bleach and just a little bit of water in a bottle, it's going to eat the straw of the bottle first. I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't come out. It had done dissolve the straw that was inside. <laughs> So we're careful about that now, aren't we? Um, but today I'm going to bring y'all along. I had to bring y'all along to make me do what my butt needs to do. Kathy, if you're watching, I'm going to tackle my frog today. She came over Friday and we had a good little visit. And I told her, I said, I can't eat my toad. It is done exploded to a toad. That man is helping me clean today. He, he Last week he did it, and this week he's doing it. I think he finally realized. I think he did it last week or the week before. Week before. Last week he rested because he worked all day and night Saturday working a ball game. Didn't you, fat man? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, does that work? Go look at the tub. I have been... Oh, y'all, he cleaned like Jamie... Jamie's Journey. Isn't that who she is? Jamie's Journey. Yes. Honey, I love watching her cleaning videos. Man, she... I don't know how she has that much energy. 
with an older little girl and then twin girls and then she cleans I mean from ceiling to bottom I mean ceiling oh wow look what that man did how he do that there's a couple of spots but we ain't gonna get on to them back though look at that Hot diggity jiggity. I did clean the toilet and the um, sink. Of course, now he's just got to mess back up. Yeah. So, yay. I didn't know he knew how to do that. I've been wanting to buy the attachments to do it. Oh, i got to show y'all real quick. I played yesterday with my cricket. And look at the cute little Halloween bag. I had to do each individual little color. But luckily I had like all the green printed out at one time. All the black, you know. So luckily it did that. Oop, we in the dark. We in the dark, we in the dark. Okay. I don't know. He's tackling something. He's cleaning the sink. Oh, there you go. I love that bathtub. You approve? Yeah. You said you just got through scrubbing that, but you got it cleaner. Yeah, I didn't do that side. I just did this side. Right. We're going to compare. All right, y'all. He did this side with the drill. He well, didn't do this, this side. This is vinegar cleaner. I love that vinegar. I was just talking about that. Yeah, that's got more of a shine. Yep. Jamie's Journey. Jamie Lynn, she uses that's that. Is like from the automotive for polishing cars. Yeah. And it's been out in the shop for a long time, so I just put it on my drill. She uses one like that, and she uses the brush one. There's I one. find the brush one. They've got a whole little set of them at Harbor Freight. Load up to pick them up. We going to town. <laughs> okay. We're going to go in here. Thank you, darling. See, he finds creative ways to clean that I can't. You know. Anywho. Alright. But today, um, yeah, you got to have power. More power. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I am going to try to tackle, not no, I ain't nothing going to try, I am going to tackle, yes, yes, I'm going to tackle, um, the shelves in there, and, um, my freezers, my freezers, so, but first, in order to do my shelves, I need to restock I, this is my little box to keep on the microwave. Carol Beth knows how to do it. Oatmeal is on one side. And then the grit packets are on the other side. I need to refill it. Um, the other night we did have breakfast supper. And if I do breakfast supper, I have to do grits. It's, it's a thing. I must. So we're just going to take some of these grits and refill. Do y'all like grits? Do you like sugar in your grits? Have you ever tried a grit? Comment down below. I would love to know if you like them or if you've ever tried them or how you like doing them. Some people like shrimp and grits. That's supposed to be a good thing here in the South. No, ma'am. Don't run my shrimp that way. Are you out of your ever-loving mind? Bo, would you like shrimp and grits? See, those are two things you just don't mix, people. Don't go doing that. Don't go wearing your shrimps that way. Shrimp's too hard to come by. All right, I think I can empty this box. We're going to go ahead and just take all these out. I was watching Kimmy from Shoes in Her Apron this morning, and it inspired me to go ahead and get up off my honey. 
and tackle my toad. It's not even a frog no more. It's a toad. Right, babe? Yeah. So, there. And that way I've got this box. Oh, this box emptied. Right now, I need to go get some more oatmeal. So, that's what we're going to do today. We are going to take inventory and reorganize the shelving in there. And then we're going to reorganize that freezer. Because it needs to. It just needs to. Oh, thank you. I'm putting a garbage bag. Garbage bag. So, here's the shelves beforehand. They have just kind of gotten, especially at the bottoms. The bottoms have just kind of gotten disarrayed. So I got to get things in order and really pay attention. I know I'm out of cream of mushroom soup. Don't ask me how I got out of cream of mushroom soup. There he goes. Show them how you danced French bread of Bel Air. <laughs> Okay, but let me get started. Uh -oh. Almost knocked it over. Okay, I've got my clipboard. Took me forever to find my clipboard, but clipboard, paper, pen, and a pencil somewhere. And we're going to start tackling. I think I'm going to go with this shelf first. So, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Okay, kids, here it is, all cleaned off, organized, I took inventory, yeah, I even had to get down on the floor, I managed to get back up, I do need to put that juice, I think I'm putting it in the spare fridge, but everything is out of the boxes and organized in our bins. My canned goods, I've got a good inventory of what we need to get. Um, I still cannot believe that I ran out of cream of mushroom soup. I've got cream of chicken, i got cream of celery, but no cream of mushroom. And, you know how you can ask, hey Google, you know, how long is so and so good for? And it takes you, um, oh, to the website, and I know what it is. What the hoosies? I know the name of it. Hey Google, how long is canned black beans good for? A 
Okay. I know y'all didn't hear it. I've got it in my earbuds and I forgot about that. Let's see if we can bring some things down. There we go. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. I'm so sorry. Took out for a wild ride, didn't we? Okay. I don't know how my camera stand has gotten so crooked. I mean, we crooked. Okay, maybe that's... There we go. A little bit better. But it took me to how, um, still tasty. Still tasty is one that you can find out from. But three to five years. You see that? Three to five years past the date on the can if it's left unopened and in a cool area. So don't be throwing your expired cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. We go through it so fast. We never come to the expiration date, trust me. Um, let's see. Stilltasty.com is one. I can't remember the name of the other one. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Yeah. So, but I've got that all organized. I've got it inventoried. I actually had way more than I thought I did. Um, it took up this sheet, front, and back, and then this. So, yeah. But now I've got a good idea. I was coming up with ideas when I saw, like, the hamburger helpers. I forgot those were up there. I've got chicken helper. I forgot that was up there. So, I'm, I got ideas. I got ideas. So, there's... Hey, Kilbeth! Hey. Um, I asked that man what he wanted me to do for supper tonight. Me and Carol Beth went to Prattville yesterday. He was down in Andalusia at the boys, helping them get their baseboards done. And so, because bless their hearts, Brian had no clue. And they didn't have the tools. So, that man went down and did his daddy deed, as, as you say, you know. He, he played daddy and he fixed their baseboards. Because um, that's what dads are for. That and auto mechanics. <laughs> Anywho, um, me and Care Beth went to town. We stopped in Aldi. I didn't really get all that much. According to the total, I got a slew of stuff. My total was seventy something dollars, and I promise you, I don't know what I bought. It wasn't more than ten things. No meat. I did get milk. I got three loaves of bread. I'm trying to remember what else. Yogurt. I got Carol Beth some of the tilt yogurt. Um, the Aldi kind. And then some um, Chobani. She, we saw the Chobani salted caramel. And that even sounded good to me. I did get me just the plain Aldi Greek yogurt. Vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. Any hazels. I did not show that little haul. It was such a small haul. I just didn't. Um, but tonight, I'm going to use my Instapot. I am going to film it. Um, we are going to do chicken and rice. That man, at first, he was wanting a roast. And I'm like, well, you should have told me about that way before now. I mean, he told me like at quarter of two. Honey, my roasts are like that big and frozen. I can't help you with that today. <laughs> I just can't help you with that today. So he said, what about chicken and rice? And I'm like, I got you. Because I knew, hey, sweet girl. Hey. I want to tell you about hi. Hi. What you doing? Y'all can tell she's been busy. Yep. Yep, she's been busy. Well, right now I'm looking for the cat. Uh-oh, we're looking for the kitty cat. I don't know where he is, baby girl. But so I looked up on my phone 
I found a good looking recipe for chicken and rice in the Instapot. Says it'll only take 20 minutes. I might have to increase mine just a little bit because my chicken is still kind of frozen. But it's just 240. So I figure I'll probably start it about like 5. So maybe it'll be thawed out completely by then. I doubt it, but we're going to shoot for it, you know? Alright, and I was supposed to inventory the freezer. No, I did open it. I opened it and got my chicken out. But we have not inventoried it. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to to make up a monthly menu. It's got to get done, Sean. <laughs> okay, Hines. Hey, it's still Sunday. Now it's Sunday evening. It's like 5... Oh, it's almost 6 o'clock. 5.42. Oh, my sweet hennies. Me and Fat Man both took a little break. He's been helping me clean. He has cleaned things that I have not ever been able to clean. Like he even opened up the recliner and cleaned up underneath it. What the, what the? But it's clean. <laughs> so, but for tonight, for supper, where is my instruction? Right here in front of me. Um, we couldn't decide. We debated back and forth. Like I said, he wanted me to do a roast at first. And I'm like, you actually have a loving mind. The thing's like this thick and it froze. So, I, he said, what about chicken and rice? I looked up this recipe. I'll leave it linked down below. It's from Creme de la Crumb website. It's Instapot Chicken Breast and Rice. Look at that. That looks so good. So, Debbie Ashton, thank you, sweetheart. Supper tonight is dedicated to you. <laughs> I hope I don't screw up. All right, we're going to do this. We've got some camera malfunctions we've got to take care of. All right. Okay. So, and it just jumped to recipe. And I've got everything out. Calls for chicken breast, olive oil, salt and pepper, Italian blend seasoning. There's the, the ingredients. I've already rinsed my rice. I don't ever remember having to rinse rice before, but okay. Okay, it says put on the saute. Saute button. And I'm going to cut open this chuck on. Cost for four chicken breasts, but these are huge. I got them from Sam's. Oh, I should have put olive oil in the bottom. I'll get to that before I put this one. Um. I never did get to that dead burn toad. I did get my shells done. Oh, we will have four because this one's got two little ones. Oh, wait. I forgot. Oh, it's cold. You know what? I hate that thing. You just don't come out. Right. Alright, so I'm put those in there, and we're just going to let them saute. i got to make sure I'm not supposed to mash any of the buttons. I'm trying to separate these two. Come apart. Come loose. I know y'all been together, but let's come on loose. Let's break up our partnership here. Come on. You want to do on your own. You know you do. Oh, I feel it. Come on. Ta-da! Alright. 
wash my hands, wash my hands, wash my hands. Who has that water on? Ha ha! I uh, lost her chicken bouillon, or chicken broth, chicken broth. And I discovered the love of bouillon cubes. It takes up so much flat space. And yeah, it's just, it's just better. Alright, so we're going to saute. Now I'm going to stir together dried herbs, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Oh, I should have put the herbs on it first. There I go, getting ahead of my directions. So we've done screwed up step number one. Of course we did. I'm in charge. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just take these out. Because you're supposed to put the mix on them before you pop them in here. See what I mean by big chicken? Look at that. Technically, I could have done just two chicken breasts, and I would have had plenty. Alright, so now we're going to back up. We're going to read our directions a little bit better. Okay, we're going to pour some of our grease in there. Our oil, I should say grease. All right, now we are going to mix up our spices. We get a bowl. Ooh. All right, we're going to mix up our spices. All right, so salt and pepper to taste. teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning teaspoon of garlic powder remember the whale the whale in your hand my hand got wet that's all right he's uh, half a teaspoon of paprika and then a half a teaspoon of onion powder Okay. Okay, rub chicken with oil. Try to get to where can y'all see what I'm doing. Okay, and this oil is going to go on here, and it's going to make our rub stay, I'm hoping. Yeah, see, one side already started getting brown. What up with that? Okay, now...
this seasoning blend, y'all, I might have to just make this up and keep it in a, a jar to use. Good gravy. This smells wonderful. I'm all about anything to season some chicken because it can it can be bland. I mean, if you don't do like a good bit to it, it can be good. So I love discovering any kind of new seasonings that I can use on them. And this just smells delightful. All right. Yeah, I might have to multiply that recipe just to do the seasoning and keep it in a jar. Alright, hands again. Alright, now my directions say, um, oh, I'm going to pull that chicken back out. Um, Let's see. Okay, and do one to two minutes on each side and then transfer to a plate. Um, then we're going to add our butter. Once melted, we're going to stir in our garlic, our rice. Dried herbs. I think my only herb that's going to go with this. Yeah, my Italian. My chicken broth. Okay, so we're going to let this do one to two minutes on each side. Uh-oh. We've done moved on to here, huh? I'm going to move this plate out. There we go. Hey, Google. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Hey, Baba. earlier okay now we're getting ready to do our rice part and our rice is going to go in the bottom that's why we had to take out the chicken we're going to add butter to the part and I think it's two yeah it's two tablespoons of butter get a butter knife That little bit has a little bit of grape jelly from the other night. We ain't going to condone it. We're going to use it. Who knows? That little smidge of jelly might be the secret ingredient. <laughs> Waste not wanting it, right? See, does that look about like... I think I skimped a little on those two tables things. There. Can't go wrong with a little extra butter if I can get yours over. Alright, now. Once it's melted, stir in the garlic. I can't see, and then I'm getting in y'all's way, and y'all can't see. 
I'm going to scrape up those little tidbits of chicken. Okay, now we're going to add our garlic. And that was a teaspoon. Teaspoon of the garlic. And yes, I get usually a little bit heavy handed on the garlic. Um, I just do. Um, half a teaspoon of our Italian. pepper to taste okay. I had a little bit of extra pepper I like we like a lot of pepper to our rice All right so now stir in rice and it, you had to pre-rinse your rice it's one cup but you had to pre rinse it. So we did that. I did that earlier. Okay. Stir in broth. Alright. Now. Okay, and we do our lemon juice after it's all done according to this. Alright, so now we got that in there. We're going to put our whack in. And we're going to place our chicken on top of the rack. Whoa. hand in there and adjust some. It's not really all that hot yet. So, while I can maneuver them, here we go. Maneuver that around. Alright, now, so we're just going to look on our lid. Got to line up. Where's my arrow? Hiya, pal. Hiya, pal. Okay, there's my arrow. All right, now. This sounds like a Nintendo game. I know it. Okay, so pressure cook. Up. Pressure cook. Five minutes. Natural release for five minutes. But it was talking about because it's so big, I can add say go to eleven to make sure. We might actually have need to go to fifteen because they are big. There, we're gonna do fourteen. Split the difference. So in the Instapot is going to be doing its thing. Now I can kind of clean up the kitchen. I can clean up the kitchen and uh, get the few other things that I'm going to do to go with this ready. Um, I bought some squash at Aldi, but I think I'm going to save it for another night because does rice go with squash? I don't know. And we are going to finish off these Hawaiian rolls. I've got another whole pack in the freezer. 
and the freezer has not been done, but that's okay. I've got Tuesday and Friday. Tomorrow we got UAB. I'll be in Birmingham. Wednesday I got a therapist and it's my birthday so I'm going to meet my sister for lunch. I've got my Red Robin free birthday burger. So we're going to meet there. And then Thursday I have something or CB has something. I can't remember. I can't remember. But one of us has some. And then we're free Friday. So, I'll be back. Oh, my land of living, y'all. It be good. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Let's come out. Those flavors. The herbs and everything that you put in them with rice. And that chicken is so juicy. Is it good, Care Beth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got her little mouth stuff. Is it good, Daddy? Oh, yeah. This is definitely a keeper. I will link it down below, but it is so simple. And you do it all in the ice pot. I did these, just kind of steam these on the stove. But yep, so that's supper tonight. Instapot, chicken, and rice. Until next time, be good, be sweet. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Share, play nice with others. If you need bill money, I got you. What do you want to say, fat man? Mmm, this is good. It is good. Mm-hmm. What do you want to say, Care Beth? It's good. It's good. All right, until next time. Bye, hon.